Hi students, welcome to another episode of UNS classes. We are again with biology neat previous year questions. Let's directly go to the question. Here today the question is which of the following is not a step in multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology that is MOET. And you know what is our routine is let's discuss something about MOET and come to the answer. So what is MOET as suggested in the question it is multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology right. So what it is all about it is all about getting the progeny from a superior breed what is superior breed here see if we say a superior cow or an allied bull it means that they have a good quality production of milk uh, in if you are speaking in terms of milk they will be good quality of milk or the amount of the quantity of milk may be high so we will select such a female with an allied bull who will be having a superior quality of sperms so what we will do in this step is in a superior quality cow we treat the cow with fsh which is the hormone fsh fsh means follicle stimulating hormone follicle stimulating hormone okay so follicle stimulating hormone is treated in a superior cow or which cow we have chosen for taking its eggs okay now when it is treated what's the hormone is follicle stimulus so similarly it stimulates the follicles in the ovary and it leads to super ovulation what do you mean by super super ovulation super ovulation means normally only one egg at a time is released from the ovary but because we are treating with FSH follicle stimulating hormone it will have super ovulation so there will be six to eight eggs will be produced at a time now what happens is once the cow has ovulated around six to eight eggs either the bull will be having a natural mating with the superior cow or will have artificial insemination once artificial insemination is done the eggs are fertilized now the eggs have become embryos after fertilization the eggs have become embryos once this embryo reach 8 to 32 cell stage these embryos will be extracted from the cow through non-surgical methods there are many methods to attract, uh, extract the eggs in uh, one of such method is non-surgical methods we can do through surgery and without surgery also here we ex extract the egg through non-surgical methods so once this eggs, eggs are the embryos are extracted one thing is that we can preserve this egg for later or we can implant these eggs in the surrogate mother or surrogate cow they need not have been of the same superior quality in normal cow these eggs will be the so called superior quality eggs will be implanted in normal mothers so why we are doing this because in a cow normal gestation period is around 280 days so if a normal superior cow has to produce one offspring it may take around 280 days right so what we are doing is we will super ovulate the cow by treating with FSH we will get 6 to 8 eggs which will be get fertilized after fertilization this embryo will be taken and surrogated in normal cows right so what happens is the superior quality cow is now again ready for the ovulation we can again have the same process here treated with FSH super ovulation artificial insemination or natural mating again it will have embryo 6 to 8 embryos when they reach a stage of 8 to 32 cell stage they will be again extracted and placed in the uterus of other surrogate cows ok now the steps are clear now we can go back to our question here the question is which of the following is not a step of MOET right let us look into the options here the first option is fertilized eggs are transferred to surrogate mother at 8 to 32 cell stage is it correct yes it's correct right when the embryo reaches 8 to 32 cell stage we will extract it through non-surgical methods and we will implant into surrogate mother so this option is correct what's the second option here cow is administered hormone yes the cow is administered with the hormone having LH like activity for super ovulation what is LH LH is luteinizing hormone but we are not using 
LH we are using FSH follicle stimulating hormone for super ovulation. So is this option correct? No, right. This option is wrong. Now, what's the next option? Cow yields about 6 to 8 eggs at a time. That's true because we are treating it with FSH super ovulation. 6 to 8 eggs will be released in single ovulation. So this is true. And the last one is cow is fertilized by artificial insemination. That is also true. Either the bull will be given a chance of natural mating or we will go for artificial insemination. So this is also true. So the question was which is not correct. Here which one is not correct? Option B. Right? Option B is not correct because we are treating the hormone called FSH for the super ovulation. Hope the concept is clear. Hope you understood and you got the correct answer. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.